What's up guys, my name is Fubuki and today I'll show you how to do a riffle shuffle. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so to do the riffle shuffle, you're going to start off by gripping the cards in your right hand, um, but not in a normal way. What you're going to do is you're going to uh, hold the cards like this in your left hand so that you can pick up the cards. Then you use your thumb on the bottom, your middle finger is going to be on the top, then your index finger is going to be um, on the middle, so resting on top of the deck, and um, your ring finger is also going to go uh, on the top edge of the deck, and then your pinky is going to go on the right edge, and it's going to rest like that. So in the end, you're left with this and um, all you're gonna do now so you've put it in this position just look at the position I'm in and then all I do is I tilt it like this so that the cards the faces are facing towards the left so once I, I've uh, once I've put the cards in this position all you gotta practice to do is to make these cards fall like that and the way to do that is you're gonna put pressure with your index finger so that makes the cards bend a little bit as you can see and then all I'm doing is uh, in the end I'm releasing the pressure with my thumb which causes the cards to riffle like that so you gotta hold it like this and since my pinky is right here and these two fingers are resting uh, there that makes the cards not fall to the front but um, the way the cards can fall to the front is if you are not really putting your pinky there so this pinky is actually pretty important to put right there in order to help um, in order to help catch those cards so you're gonna do this and once you've riffled off about half of the cards, you're going to use your middle finger and ring finger. You're going to actually uh, let those the half of the cards drop right on there. And once your index finger can reach over uh, to the to on top of this pile of cards, you're going to keep moving the cards like this, and you're going to put your index finger there and when your thumb can reach the top of the deck it's gonna do so and then my pinky is adjusting to that position right there so basically what I'm doing is I'm mirroring the exact same position on both hands as you can see so this is how I get into that position I riffle off half of the cards I do this then my index finger comes over my pinky is already getting into position and then my thumb uh, just grips the top of the deck. So now um, you're left with two piles in the the exact same um, the exact same the exact same position. Okay. So once you're comfortable with doing this, um, you can start doing the riffle shuffle. Now a lot of people do the riffle shuffle on the table. They need the support, but um, I'm just gonna try to do this. Uh, it's it's not bad to immediately uh, learn how to do this without the table so I'm not using uh, a surface for this so I'm doing this and once it's in this position all you're gonna practice to do is to do the same thing you did at the beginning so you're putting pressure with your index fingers and then you're gonna release with your thumb and you don't need the table since you were already holding it in such a position that um, the cards wouldn't fall so you do this and after a while they do fall because you don't have the support of your thumbs anymore uh, so that's so then you just uh, then you just because your thumbs are holding on to it and then I just use my other fingers to kind of hold on to it that's just for practicing so you do this and then you practice uh, letting them fall one by one so one two one two one two one two so don't don't do it too fast now if if you have trouble 
getting so if you have big piles falling off your thumb um, then that means that you're not really um, that you're not really putting enough pressure between these two fingers which which either causes some piles to fall off or just the whole the whole pile so keep doing this and once you're here instead of doing this all you're gonna do is you're gonna move your hands closer together and then you're gonna let them fall now that's that might be a problem that they don't actually um, they don't inter they don't um, intercept and that means that you're not close enough so you gotta go like that and I'll also teach you how to do the bridge uh, at the end but first we have to focus on this part so what you're tr trying to do is to let them fall off uh, one by one and you want the the overlap the overlay as you can see right there you want that to be about a centimeter or an inch it shouldn't be too thick because if you do it too thick you're gonna have a hard time doing the bridge at the end as you can see so uh, you, you don't want it to be too small because otherwise the cards may go like that you just want it to be a fair amount just like that and once you're once you've done that uh, you're you're wait I have to do this again so once you've done the whole riffle shuffle thing like that your thumbs are gonna be loose and all you immediately do is to put your thumbs on the top card just like that just to hold them and in the meantime I'm I'm still holding on to these cards with my middle finger and ring finger and my pinky is still not doing too much there so my thumbs are holding on to the top card so in this case the left side is the the top card is the left side um, it can also be on the right side of course uh, that depends on how you shuffle it so if this is the case then you put your thumbs right there and then all you do is you move your index fingers outwards and your pinkies are also outwards and now you're just gripping the cards in between your middle fingers and pink and ring fingers and your thumbs as you can see so I'm not doing anything with my pinkies and my index fingers and all you do now is you kind of move your hands together and you and you move these towards each other so that this pile uh, starts to bend so you do this and then you bend it and once you you are in this position all you're gonna do is you're gonna release the cards with the ring finger and uh, middle fingers so at the bottom you're just gonna move them outwards and that if you do that right that causes the cards to automatically fall down just like that let's do it again so you do this you grip it with your thumbs you move your index finger outwards and then all you do is you let the cards drop and that is basically how you do a riffle shuffle an indie hand riffle shuffle um, so a problem that could also occur is that um, that when you shuffle the cards are not going to be evenly spread out it's going to be more like this like big chunks that are that are not really uh, distributed well as you can see that is all because um, it still takes some practice to get those car to let them riffle uh, one by one but once you are able to do that your bridge is gonna look uh, better oh yeah and an another thing is that um, at the beginning you might worry about your your cards getting bent a little bit as you can see there's a slight bend due to the fact that I use this riffle shuffle and basically the solution to that is I immediately do the same thing 
the same position as first and I kind of do that again and that makes it go uh, straight again as you can see so because you do the bridge that's gonna make them bend in that direction as you can see and all you do is you you can even hold it like this between your thumb and four fingers and just riffle the cards like that and that makes them go straight and um, after a while once you're better at doing the the riffle shuffle the bend is not going to be as as uh, as big as you would as it would be at the beginning when you're first starting out so I hope you enjoyed uh, doing that it is one of my favorite shuffles to do and it shuffles up the cards really really well um, so if you have any questions about this uh, ask them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.